The vehicle is accelerating 2% slower than usual. Did you put anything in the trunk? No. What about the back seat? Yeah, the kit. Back seat. Boop. Mizuki? <laughs> Wait, what? He didn't notice her there? Hey, watch out! Ice forward, stupid! I assumed you went to pick her up. What? How could you possibly not notice? Mizuki climbed up to the front seat and sat in the passenger seat. How could you possibly not notice? There's no one else in the back. <laughs> uh, how are you doing? Well, I can still talk this time. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Well, don't worry. There's nothing else to get used to. You only have two parents and they're both dead. <laughs> Mizuki's psychological wounds have been healed by the sink. Nice weather we're having. If you have nothing to talk about, you don't have to say anything. Fair enough. You're an adult, shouldn't you know that already? If you start talking about the weather, it means you have nothing to say. Damn. What a brat. <laughs> uh, how did you even get in here? It wasn't locked, I just opened the door. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. You should be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Mizuki does raise a valid point. If you are not more serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. You too? What are you doing here? I ditched the hospital. They're probably freaking out over there right now. I'm taking you back. No, don't! Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? Take me with you, I can help! How is a little runt like you gonna be any help? I'm Renju's daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't. Something only his daughter would know. I don't know. My daddy was killed. I can't just stay at the hospital. <sighs> Fine. Don't say I never did anything for you. You're going to take me along? Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. Got it. Uh, do you want to catch the suspect? No, it's more like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. Fair. I've grown out of my brooding, pretentious teenager phase. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> sorry, what? You've grown out of your brooding, pretentious teenager phase? You're 12, aren't you? Am I misremembering? Am I misremembering? Isn't she 12? She is 12. She's grown out of her teenager phase before becoming a teenager. Curious. BL, boys love, a depiction of love and eroticism between men. Although it sounds vulgar, it is often a display of pure sublime love and there are many worthwhile works of art in the genre. Don't be so close-minded. I mean, it doesn't sound vulgar, but sure. At least it says don't be so close-minded. Uh, N system. A, ne a network of cameras and recording devices on Japanese highways that monitor vehicles and collect data. Useful for criminal investigations, the bane of people driving around mistresses. Sink. Uh, used to enter the brain, yeah. Sinker, person that does it. Shovel Forge. Uh, is a parody of a popular game in the same genre, which I will not mention for legal reasons. Yeah, gee, I wonder which. Illuminati. Secret society allegedly founded in Ingolstadt. Bavaria in 1776. Originally just a private club of university professors and students. Now it's become... Actually, I better stop before I disappear. <laughs> uh, Fan-made books and comics that celebrate a particular franchise. Usually erotic. I don't have any, but I need to do some research, so please send some. Cloud storage. Everyone knows what that is. TOA. Oops. TOA. Time of arrival, Koteka, an accessory worn by indigenous people in New Guinea. A cylindrical cylindrical sheath made from a hollowed out gourd worn over the dick. Nice. Sink. Uh, I'm used to sinking. That was a pun. Ha ha ha. Somnium. Uh, plural is somnia. And attached the prefix in, meaning non or without, results in insomnia. Nice. Uh, time. Uh, there was a limitation of technology. When Iva's standing still, she and Date are exchanging information at extremely fast speeds. 
when she's moving, it's not possible for her to exchange information as quickly because she's using other resources. Yeah, okay. Underground. Iris says she doesn't get many gigs. She's more popular in the underground scene, which means the internet. Holy shit, there's a lot. A Jacko is a concert hall or event venue. Sure. What the fuck? <laughs> Freemasons. A fraternity founded sometime between the late 16th century and the early 17th century. Publicly, they are an organization devoted to the improvement of moral character. But in reality, they... <laughs> The Eye of Providence. A symbol from Christian theology depicted as an eye enclosed in a triangle. Providence meaning divinity and guidance, an eye that represents God's all-seeing eye that looks down on all of humanity. It was originally not defined to be either the right or left eye specifically. However, most depictions of the eye today are drawn as the left eye. Interesting, interesting. Head office, top administrative office. Da -da -da. A lemniscate is a curve represented by R squared and A squared cos 2, whatever the fuck that symbol is, for the polar coordinates for whatever. If that's confusing, don't worry, it's confusing to me too. The curve has a shape like an infinity symbol, and in Japanese it's called Renjukai, making it the perfect name for the company Renju owns. Except that he's dead now, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, gig, a show, yup. Time limit, yup. That was a lot. <laughs> oh right, so that only, we only got that picture because we chose to ride it, right? So, huh. So there will be some pictures that I'll miss just by virtue of either not investigating, because like you didn't have to investigate the horse. So there's gonna be pictures I do miss just because I don't click something and then don't click the right option on that something. Aww. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, the teenager that isn't a teenager yet. Odd thing for a preteen to say. <laughs> yeah. Are you not aware of Mizuki's mental prowess? I did mention that last time, actually. I, I did say, or maybe the time before, I don't know, but she seems like she's advanced. She is far more developed than her classmates. She is even reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. What the fuck? Sounds pretentious to me. Uh, about Renju. Oh. Hey, about Renju. Do you have anything to tell me? Anything at all that might help? Well, it's not about Daddy, but I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Shoko had a secret? Uh, what is it? Did he tell you that? Did you know that Mom was the representative of an investment company? Yeah, I did. That whole company was a big scam. A scam? Well, I don't know the details. They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. Oof. She got really rich like that. Shoko did this? What a yep. bitch. By herself? No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. I saw gangsters there sometimes. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. I am scanning all known crime databases, but I cannot find any reports referencing this. They must have been extraordinarily careful. Well, I'm glad you're okay. I'm not okay. So, you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Why are you always so pushy, Date? I'm not pushy, I'm just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. Doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. You've always got something smart to say, huh? You're just like Renju. Date. What about Daddy? Nothing. You have no tact, do you? This is why you're single and always will be. Damn, got him. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. Yeah, chicks love to see creepy old men hanging out with a sixth grader. <laughs> hey, what are you implying? Ooh, did I make you mad? Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. I am not an old creepy pervert. And even if you were my age, you're not my type. That's a really weird thing to say to a 12 year old man. That's a really weird thing to say. Ew, I don't want to know about your type. Hey, you started it. Stupid old man. Punk ass kid. Things you don't say to a 12 year old. 
anything about them being your type, whether it's yes or no, you don't say it to a fucking minor. <laughs> what are you doing? What is this game? It's so weird. Mizuki and I walked back into Sunfish Pocket. Uh, Detective Date, good to see you, sir. And this is... Have you looked through the case file yet? Oh, no, oh, I am so sorry. She's the victim's... Yes, please let us through. Okay, he has been, uh... Cleared away, as it were. Alright, what have we got? Let's have a look. Kitchen door, doorway to the kitchen, a lifesaver. Didn't do much work last night. The walls are decorated with life preservers. Oil drum, some kind the of interior of decor. Oil drum is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Let me check inside. X-ray that shirt! <laughs> Nothing. Oh wait, no, there is something. What? There's something inside. I stepped up to the drum. This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. Nice picks. It's a watch. This is... Renju's, I presume? This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. Yep. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? Hmm. Hmm. A chair. The corpse was strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. Nice! But no traces of that have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. So another case of moving the body to be put in a spectacle position after they are dead. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. Same MO. Same MO. Which means we should probably put fucking Mizuki somewhere safe. Just in case they want to finish off the whole family, you know? Hmm. It must have been considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Barrel made of wood. Box, nothing in there. Table, can't find any clues on it. Trident. Spear. It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. I believe this is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? No. There are no traces of blood on the trident, and no indication that Renju was stabbed. Doesn't look like it has anything to do with anything. <laughs> Dragon's Palace Pasta. 1800 yen. 1800? Isn't that pretty average? This is average? I have no idea. I have no concept of how much yen is worth. You can see the kitchen back there. Nothing looks sus. Nothing looks sussy. The store's signboard says Sunfish Pocket. Gee, I wonder why. There are pictures of girls on display. Probably the girls that are worse. What are you staring here. at? Creeper. I agree. How dare you. Do, do, do. Officers guarding the door. What's the status? Nothing special. Well, all right then. Club is located on the second floor of the building. We use the elevator to get here. Iba, can you check the operation records of this elevator? Searching. Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once, at 8.55 p.m. Well, that's when they were here. The weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. 
So the only- so the elevator only stopped on the second floor once. Yep. Got anything on camera? Iva, did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. Of course. What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. No footage, what a shocker. Officers guarding. All right. What have you got to say? You can leave if you need to. I thought I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still. I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene, I think it's totally weird, right? It is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. <laughs> yeah. But this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want to be weak. Man, poor kid. Notice anything strange? Um. Hmm. You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. Uh, remember what you saw last night? How could I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Not until the day I die. Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. All right. Jeez, you're pushy. Pushy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. <laughs> Besides, Date? Hmm? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she gonna say? Now is not the time to worry about such things. Looking hey. at the spot where you found Renju. Are you doing okay? Oh, sorry. Just staring. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. Are you really okay? Yeah, I am. Don't you have an investigation to do? Or are you stalling? No. She acts tough, but deep inside, not so much. What's your name? What? I was asking for your name. <laughs> oh, is it the same guy as before? <laughs> My name is Kagami. It's <laughs> Kagami. Kagami. I told you, it's Kagami! I've told you my name like five times! I of course remembered his name. <laughs> is it just gonna... His name is engraved in my mind. His name is... Hey you, what's your name? <laughs> Seriously? It's Kagami! Stop bugging him, it's rude. Excuse you, my best friend, uh, Kagami and I are having a conversation. Yeah, don't spoil our fun. What? Lol. Another inspector, I hope you find some clues. Uh, you getting enough rest? I know I'm not. No, not these past few days. I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, alright? You too, Detective Date. Any leads? No, we didn't find anything today. The inspector is investigating something. What have we got here? Renju's corpse was hung up by three wires. The wires were tied to three Each kegs. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. Three beer kegs on the floor. Each can hold 20 liters and weighs 55 pounds when filled. They were used to uh, counterbalance his body weight. An evidence marker. It's a little marker that's put up to track evidence. Okay, now we've seen all that. Uh, Can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. Oh. 
Wait, what? We're zooming in on something that isn't there. <laughs> The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. It is a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. So sedatives were detected in Renju's body. He was barely conscious before he was killed. The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. I didn't realize the curse was still on the screen. <laughs> you of course already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. Of course not. Renju's corpse is found hanging from the ceiling, over the counter. Okay, can't check out the hook itself. Uh, I mean, it says there's more to find here, but I don't think there is. That's it. We've already done that. Uh, what to do now? The Popo don't have anything more to say. Is it... Hmm. Renju weighed about 160 pounds and he was definitely murdered somewhere else then carried here. <sighs> Have I missed something? Have I missed something I can fucking click on here? Like I can't click on the ropes or anything. We've done... Oh, neck! There we go. There are deep impressions left on his neck. Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. Put more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Do we have an estimated TOD? Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renji was murdered about two hours before yeah, I was just trying to, found the body. I was just trying to remember what uh, what time we came in, but yeah. Renji's approximate cut time of death was 8 p.m. He was strangled by a cloth. Okay, now have I seen everything here? I think so. Still nothing more to say for you. God damn it, man. I feel like the hook should be something. But it just isn't. Uh... The light? It's a light that looks like a jellyfish. Probably not a clue. God damn it. What have I missed? Empty box. Oh, this is getting annoying. There's nothing left to click. Ah, a big anchor. God damn it, that's nothing either. Cash register, register near the door. No.
This is super frustrating. I don't know what to do. I think I've clicked everything. But like, obviously nothing's happening. I feel like there must be something else in here, but... Wait, the eyes? Oh, you fuckers. The left eye has been this pulled out. This similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. God damn it. I think we've checked everything we need to. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. Renju and Shoko both had their left eye taken before they were killed. The right eye is still there. Okay, you ready to go? Uh... Do you want to talk to Iris? Yeah. Daddy owned Lemnis Gate and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. So she might know something. I'll call her. Mizuki tried calling Iris, but there was no answer. Man, no one answers their Have fucking any phones idea where here. She might be? I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Uh, do you want to talk to Ota? Yeah. Ota is in here all the time. He might know something. Of course he's in here all the time. I'll call him. Ota's phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. Uh, any places you can think of that I don't know about? Well, there is one place. Oh. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the Entertainment District? Can't say that I have. What's Daddy that? Daddy used to go to a place called Marvel a lot. Maybe they know something about him. Okay. Mizuki's looking this way. Did you change anything? No. Nope. All right, then. Let's head out. Lemniscate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Let's head out. Okay. Is this going to be my choice? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Well. Fuck Ota. <laughs> so it's between these two. It's between like a completely new place or going and seeing Iris. I do like Iris. I do like Iris. So probably Iris. <laughs> hey Iris, hope your idol career is going well because your company, your talent company that you're with is uh, about to have a really bad time. Sunday at not a specific time because all three of these take place in whatever order <laughs> the player feels like, I guess. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, oh, bum, what? Bum. Hey there, handsome. Hey. Excuse me? I cannot even right now. Jesus Christ. That is uh, quite the model. Hold on. Give me just one sec. Mizuki, do you know this guy? Uh, yeah. Can you introduce me, please? She is surprisingly unprofessional for a receptionist. Come on, it's just not so bad. Could you contain yourself for five minutes, Date? <laughs> a reception desk. Uh, did you happen to see Ota here? Ota? Nah, I haven't seen him today. How is he? The receptionist knows Ota too? Ota happens to be the kind of otaku who actually has social skills. No, he doesn't. Those are the ones you have to watch out for. Huh? Nothing. He doesn't have fucking shit for anyway, sco social skills. Just give me a call if Ota shows up. I have my number here. I took out my business card and handed it over to the receptionist. Uh oh. Yeah, I got his number. I got his number. Oh god, she's annoying. Let us pray that the privilege will not be abused. Ota has all the fucking social skills of a tomato. What's gonna happen to the office? anything about that yet. The VP might take over, we might get absorbed by another office. 
just when I got a job, too. Man, what am I gonna do if this place closes up? Cry? So, anyway, tell me, Date, what kind of girls do you like? Because I'm the committed type, you know? Would you consider me a candidate? Hmm? Maybe if you get a voice transplant. Well, I... I... We could go out sometime. Wow, dude. Uh, you disgust me. Oh, uh, my apologies. Never mind. Uh, things have been pretty serious around here lately. Yeah, totally. You never think about, like, my boss getting murdered, you know? Yeah, that's, uh, fairly unusual. Like, what are even the chances? That's, like... The odds of hitting the lotto. But I was kind of lucky, in a weird way. What? Some of my old friends hit me up asking about it, you know. Feels like we're old alumni or something. Imagine saying that it's lucky that he died in front of his child. She certainly found the bright side of this situation. Jesus Christ! There's a receptionist. Uh, have you seen Iris? Iris? You mean Asa? She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. Nice. Oh, that's why she didn't pick up the phone. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. No, it's fine. This can wait until she's done. For sure. What? For sure? As in, I got you? I don't believe I've ever heard that sequence of sounds spoken out loud before. For sure. All right. I think... This painting is called Hawaiian Dishes and Dark Demons. Nice name. Which part is supposed to be a dish and which part is supposed to be a demon? Yes. Exactly. There's an incomprehensible painting. Do 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 Vending machine. Oh, this is Dark Zoom Kalimas! Who? Who? How to draw cute anime girls. I think I'll give that a look. All right. Uh, oh. Captain, enemy vessel, three clicks. I believe you are thinking of sonar. <laughs> Instead of so far? Wow, that's terrible. That is terrible. Date, look! A cricket! Hyper has a strange fascination with insects. Alright, I think that is where we will leave it for today. When we come back, we will chat with Mizuki and wait for Iris to come out, chat with her, and then probably go somewhere else, I guess, after that chat. Uh, not to Ota, I would imagine. Well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. But that is it for today. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more I, The Somnium Files. Thanks for watching. See you then.